a student has asked about a multiple choice question which they didn't know the answer to. So let's see if we can work it out. Here's the question. For a competitive firm, let's say its total costs be total cost equals 48 plus 2 times the output to the power of 2. The marginal costs are 4 times the output. The average variable costs are 2 times the output. And average total costs are 48 divided by the output plus 2 times the output. If the market price is 24, which statement is true? Now, in answering this question, you're really going to need to calculate these quantities. But before we go any further, we can say something uh, already. Before we do any calculations at all, we can make some deductions because we know that we're dealing with perfect competition a perfectly competitive firm. And we know for a perfectly competitive firm, it's a price taker, which is to say that it simply accepts whatever the market price is as fixed for it. It doesn't matter how much the firm produces, it's always going to be charging the market price. And we know what that is, it's $24. So we know the price will be fixed you can put a little bar over the top of P to indicate that. Um, it's fixed at 24. Now, something we know about this perfectly competitive firm, because the price is fixed, price being we also know the average revenue, is that the marginal revenue of the firm will also be fixed. How do we know that? Well, if you're selling every apple for $2 each, then the revenue you'll make on each additional apple is going to be $2. That is, it's going to be equal to the price. So we know in the case of perfect competition, where the firm is a price taker, that the price will equal the marginal revenue. They will be the same. So we already know what the marginal revenue is. It's 24. What else do we know? We're being asked about the short run equilibrium condition for the firm and we know what that is going to be we're looking for the optimal or equilibrium output where the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost so if we already know this and we're looking for the equilibrium quantity we know that it also has to be true that this is the case, which means that we also know at equilibrium, at the optimal output, what the firm's marginal cost will be, 24. So we know this before we've done any calculations whatsoever, just by deduction from what we know about the nature of a perfectly competitive firm choosing to produce its optimal output. What we don't know is the output of the firm, the average variable cost, and the average total cost yet. But we've already deduced what the marginal cost will be. The marginal cost is going to be 24, and that is here. So this could be a this could be a possible option, but it also says marginal cost equals 24 here and price equals 24. So that's true. So it could be either this option or this option. So we need to investigate further. We need to calculate the average variable cost and the average total cost to figure out which one is the correct option of them. So let's do that now. So we've just figured out that price equals marginal revenue and in equilibrium equals marginal cost. And this is 24. So far, so good. Now we want to find the equilibrium quantity. Well, we've got an equation which we can use to do that. We know that the marginal cost in the question is equal to 
four times the output. And we know what the marginal cost is because we've already deduced that. So 24 equals four times the output. And then all we have to do is move the four to the other side. So we divide by four here to cancel it. What we do to one side, we do the other. Divide by four here. So we're left with 24 divided by 4 is 6. So we've got our output of 6 in equilibrium. So far, so good. Now we need to find the average variable cost. We've got an average variable cost equation to do that. Average variable cost equals 2 times the output. So what's the average variable cost in equilibrium? Well, we plug in the equilibrium quantity to find out what the equilibrium average variable cost would be. 2 times, we've now worked out the equilibrium quantity, 6. So, done. We now know the average variable cost at equilibrium, at the output of 6. Then we want to find the average total cost. We've got an equation for that. Average total cost equals 48 divided by output plus 2 times the output. Now we want to know the average total cost at the equilibrium output. We know the equilibrium output is 6. So 48 over 6 plus 2 times 6. Right, so divisions and multiplications. Right, these guys are glued together so you do them first. The pluses, they're just holding hands, so you do this part first, this part, and then you add them up. So average total cost equals 48 divided by 6, so that's 8, plus 2 times 6, 12. So average total cost equals 8 plus 12, 20 there's your average total cost at equilibrium the equilibrium output of six okay so with that information we can now choose which is the correct uh, option so which of these is the correct in the short run the quantity is six yes that's right the marginal cost is 24 yes that's right the average variable cost is 12, yes that's right, and the average total cost is 20, yes that's right. So this is the correct option. All of the others are wrong, as you can see there. That is the answer to that. Incidentally, just for fun, you could take the um, marginal cost equation and the average variable cost, and the average total cost, and the price equation. And you could put them into an Excel spreadsheet over a range of quantities and use that to construct a graphical, a graphical representation of these equations. So if you did that, if you graph the marginal cost, the marginal cost curve would look like this. Then you could put in, if you graph the average variable cost curve, you can see that it would be shaped like this. And then we can graph the average total cost curve, and then we can put in the price curve or the average revenue curve, which it's a perfectly competitive firm, so the firm's a price taker. It accepts a price of 24, so its average revenue is constant, and therefore its marginal revenue is constant as well here. Then you can say, all right, what's the optimal output for our firm? 
the optimal output? What's the condition for the optimal output? It's where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So we find the point of intersection between the marginal cost curve and the marginal revenue curve. Where's the marginal revenue curve? It's the same as the price or average revenue curve. There. That tells us our optimal output, which is six units, as we calculated using the equation. Then we can say what is going to be the average total cost. Well, at the optimal output. That's here. $20. And what's the average variable cost at the optimal output of six units? Here. $12. Okay, so we can either find our answers simply using the equations or we could do it in a more visually appealing but far more time consuming way by graphing these equations in order to find the values of the optimal output and then at the optimal output the average variable cost, average total cost and marginal cost. Okie dokie. That is that.